this bee is ticked and it is going to sting the heck out of me. One, two, three. We are just outside of our lodging here at Mount Kinabalu in Borneo, but we have been seeing these massive bees flying around the parking lot and in and around the gardens surrounding this property. So I've got my bug net. I'm gonna try to catch one, ID it, and if it's interesting enough, we're gonna put it on the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. Already starting to sweat. It is heating up, but that's what we want. That's what's gonna bring all the wasps and the bees out to forage. You need heat, you need sun. We've got them both. Oh! You see what I see? Big orb weaver. Oh, look, it's eating. It's in the middle of wrapping up some prey. You're careful, but I think we can step up on this. Yes. Whoa. Let's let it finish wrapping its meal, and then I'll attempt to catch the spider with my bare hands and it's about as big as my hand too. Now these are called golden orb weave spiders because they have a golden hue to their web. Can you see it? Oh yeah. Oh. Another insect just flew into the web. The spider picked a great spot. Oh, she's backing off her meal. Gonna go in for the catch. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Web's still intact. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. This is a really, Good size, golden orb weaver. Very hard to get a bite from one of these, but it's not unheard of. And I've been told that their venom can be super painful if bitten. Whoa. Look at how colorful its abdomen is. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. You can like feel the weight. Usually spiders feel weightless. Yeah. Definitely a few grams on that spider. This is a big mama. This is likely a female, given her size. Out here chasing giant bees, only to come across a massive gold Norweaver spider. I'm gonna put this spider back in its web so it can finish lunch. Here you go, girl. Didn't even phase her. Right back to lunch. All sorts of bugs around. Just gotta catch the one we're after. Guys, we got giant bees right here. Roll your cameras, roll your cameras. Got this rolling. Okay. Right in the center. There it is. Nope, there it is. It's up there. I see it. I just got to go for it. Hold this. Hold this side. It's too thick in there. I'm gonna go around the back side. Shoot. I didn't get it. Chased it all the way up here though. Okay, bees are out. Let's go back. I think they like those yellow flowers. Let's go back there, stake it out and see if we can get one. This is gonna be it. All right, guys, let's camp out back here. Yeah. Come on guys, roll your cameras. Got him. Yes. Huge. Carpenter bee. Beautiful blue wings. Big bee. All right, here, let me uh, get it into a container so we can get a better look. Yes. That is a really big and black carpenter bee. Oh my goodness. That is a super intimidating bee. And yes, they absolutely sting. It's time to go arm to stinger to find out just how painful it really is. There's our bee. Got our net. We're doing the transfers. Gonna need a better container so you can see this bee. A little clear. EpiPen. So every insect or arachnid I'm getting bitten or stung by, could be potentially a life-threatening allergic reaction. Always got the EpiPen. I'm just gonna put that over here though. Hopefully we won't need that. This is gonna be 
pretty gnarly. Now let's uh, let's get it switched to the other container so we can all see it better. The B. Let's see if I can get it to get there. Ah, calming down. There we go. This B has calmed down quite a bit since we caught it. Still have the net on standby in case it does try to get away mid-sting, which has happened before. First thing I notice, besides the size of this bee, is how hairy it is. It has these long hairs all over its bodies, especially on the legs, the abdomen, and the chest. Just looking at it, it certainly earns the local name, the broad-handed bee. This is a beast of a bee, but let's talk about this species real quick before I take it out of the container. This is what's known as a carpenter bee. And there are carpenter bees all over the world. And the reason why they are called a carpenter bee is because of how they reproduce. Instead of making a hive or a comb like a honeybee, these bees will actually chew into wood, make a pollen ball, lay an egg with the pollen ball in the wood, and then they'll close it off. And that's where the baby bees, the larvae, will hatch, eat the pollen, and emerge as adult bees to do the cycle all over again. But that does not mean that these bees don't sting. They absolutely sting. And get this, unlike a honeybee, they can sting multiple times. So this is more similar to a hornet or a wasp where it can sting repeatedly. You might get swarmed at a picnic by yellow jackets or even honeybees, but these bees are solitary. They're not defending any hive or nest. But when I take this bee out of this tiny container, it's gonna start buzzing and it is gonna sting the daylights out of me. Now let's talk about how we are gonna rate the sting of this carpenter bee. We are gonna rate it, like always, on three different factors. Intimidation, pain, and aftermath. And I can tell you right now, just looking at the size of this bee and how powerful it is, intimidation is gonna be a big score. Pain, I'm gonna be shocked if the pain of this bee gets below a five. I think it's gonna wallop me. And then of course, aftermath is something we'll have to track for the next couple of days. Don't worry, you won't have to wait. We're gonna skip pass through all the waiting. So at the end of this video, you are going to learn where this bee rates against all the other insects and arachnids, scorpions, spiders, things I've been bitten and stung by throughout my career. I think we're ready for it, Mark. I'm gonna put this net on standby for everybody. If the bee starts to get away, grab the net and grab it, whoever's closer, okay? I have a feeling I'm, being, I'm gonna be in a lot of pain. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to like hold this bee for very long outside of the capsule because it is super strong. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I th the bee's starting to fly, so I'm gonna have to do it under the net. Okay. Now, like most flying insects, it's gonna go up first. Just be careful. Dangerous game of grab the bee. Have it? I've got it. I've got it. Let go. Okay. Not my best hold ever. Let's see if I can improve this. You see that stinger going? Wow. Oh, it's big. Oh, that stinger is big. Let's get a better hold. I got it, guys. Okay. Now you can see why we had it under the glass. This bee is ticked and it is going to sting the heck out of me. Wow, I'm not looking forward to this. Three times the size of your average honeybee. This is always the hardest part, getting stung. All right, I'm gonna do, the, do it right here. Right here, you guys got a shot? All right. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with a giant carpenter bee. On three, one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, it's hot. Mmm! Ah. Oh. Got away. I see a little mark. Good news, bad news. The good news is I did get stung. The bad news is the bee got away really fast. And honestly, guys, that was so chaotic. I tried to re-catch it, I couldn't. And you can see this welt coming in right here. I felt the stinger go in. 
I think I got a full sting, but I'm not quite sure. We've got a little bit of daylight left. I say we take the net. Let's go back down to those flowers, that front line of bushes, see if we can catch another bee and do the sting one more time. I, I just, I just don't know if I got a full dose and I wanna make sure. So let's go down real quick, guys. Now, don't get me wrong. The sting of the black carpenter bee did hurt, but nothing could have prepared me for the bee that I was about to catch. Oh my gosh, that's bigger, right? Or is it in my eyes? Well, that's definitely bigger. Okay, okay, let's, uh, let's go back and do it. No fussing around. This bee is massive. It's so much bigger than the first one. It's gonna be even harder to hold. I'm just gonna do it, you guys ready? Not expect to get a bigger bee. Oh, jeez. You hear it's powerful? It is powerful. It's so big. All right. One, two, three. Oh, wow, yeah. I did not get hit the first time. Wow. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see that sting? It happened so fast. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah. I want to get away. Ah. All right. Just get up the bee. Get up the bee. Ah. All right. Didn't lose the bee that time, but it got me. That first one did not sting, guys. That first one definitely did not sting. You see the venom coming out of that hole? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. That's burning. Mmm. Big B got me. Big B got me. Uh, uh, that bee's so big, it can't even extend its wings inside that container. It's too big for the glass. You guys see that? Oh my gosh. Look at the legs. I got stung by the beast. I'm glad we caught that second bee because otherwise the Bornean black carpenter bee would have not gotten a fair BSI rating. We're gonna monitor this thing for the next day to judge the aftermath, but you don't have to wait a second. This is the official BSI rating of this giant black carpenter bee. Roll it. On intimidation, this bee's massive size and huge stinger set my nerves on fire. On top of that, it was also incredibly strong and one of the hardest insects I've ever had to wrangle. For that, I rank it a 7.5 out of 10. For pain, the sting of the second bee was shocking and about 10 times as painful as the first. After the first sting, I wasn't sure if this bee was even worth rating in a full video, but after being walloped by the larger bee, I can safely say the giant black carpenter bee of Borneo has a very painful sting and I was immediately humbled. So for pain, I give it an 8.3 out of 10. Now the aftermath of this sting, like most bees, was the worst part. The sting burned and itched for days and caused swelling so severe that it covered my entire forearm and down to my elbow. Oh, that burns. At its worst, my arm felt like a water balloon ready to pop, so I rate the aftermath of this massive bee a 9.1 out of 10, giving the giant black carpenter bee of Borneo a total score of an 8.3 and rightfully earning a spot way up the ranks of the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to search for the Brave Wilderness channel on YouTube so you can join me and the crew on our upcoming adventures. Oh, my God.